guys, it's Great Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the finale of season one of Jabba's Reincarnation. So yeah, as I said, because today is Friday and today is the only day that I was able to record this, um, this week has been crazy, because you know, hey, you know, her, the, the hurricane came in, you know, <laughs> Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, and thought I was going to have the power come out, and I was like, oh shit, like, I'm not going to be able to record jack Edge. and that's when I was like, yeah, everything's going to probably be postponed until, like, this weekend and such, whenever the fuck power comes out, and, you know, power never went out, so I was like, what the fuck, I'm going to go ahead and get something done, and I wanted to also get this done yesterday, or Thursday, at the time of this recording, um, as well, but my mom wanted me to spend some time with her, and then I had to go to work today, unfortunately, and came home, and I was really exhausted and tired, work, like, drained the hell out of me today, and <laughs> yeah, so now we're gonna go ahead and do my other job, but I'm really excited to see how this ends for a season one, and then how we're going to tie into the second season whenever the hell that's coming you know but other than that let's go ahead and get started with episode 22 in three two one go that's not good i mean because it's blood for christ's sake oh. are we replaying that moment again Oh, no, that was wine. Oh. Oh! Do not play with my heart. Because this is a dream. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, Sophie. Baby. That this is a dream. Something's coming. Oh, oh shit. I don't like this. Ooh, that's some major ass PTSD, bro. I mean, cause you know, <laughs> what? <laughs> How? I would need several drinks after that. <laughs> Be like, how drunk can you make me to forget that? <laughs> oh. 
D you wanna go? Oh, hell nah. Yeah, because honestly, we really don't need a situation like last time, my boy. Oh, baby. I knew this had to happen, but I didn't want to see this, like, Way more beautiful. Hmm. Huh? But You did everything. No, but with your health, though. No. Not only because of him, because of you as well. God, this is probably going to make me tear up. Oh my God. <laughs>
Like, I really do want him to stay and travel with them, but... A deal's a deal. Oh, baby! Oh, no! Oh God, damn it, oh, oh, <laughs> please, yes, like, oh my God. And then there were two. Ah! God, is this just gonna be a teary crying episode? Oh my god. Oh. Hmm. days left. My thing is, why would they want him to wait? Because it's important information for Edis about her family. <laughs> Boy, you're boring. Whoa, girl! <laughs> Your grandfather as well, by the way. Um, yeah.
It's already all too much for her. That means you too. God. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> oh, okay. Ooh. But that's Roxy, but it's still so <laughs> I mean, if I really wanted to, this could have been weeks ago. I could have spoiled myself on that. But, thank God your girl didn't. Oh, God. But, like, because it was killing me wanting to know if Sylvia was okay. And now, to finally get that answer, like... <sighs> Trust, bitch. Well, you're not taking it in a way that I thought you would. I mean, at first, yes, you did cry, but... No. <laughs> I, I know she mean a little too forceful, Jesus. That too, yes, yeah, she's feeling very hopeless. That's a good question. Wouldn't that be kind of taking advantage of her? Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> and I get it, you know, because she she's very emotional right now and she's lost everyone. Damn, I wanted the cannon to be I just feel for her. After everything she's been through. Damn, does this mean like when season two comes out, she's literally not going to be in it as much? If she, the thing is, because if she gets pregnant. metaphor in that. Congratulations, babe. You lost your V-guard. she go hmm? oh she cut her hair Like, I'm gonna hit it and then I'm gonna go. Damn. Oh, 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 Damn, she, she, she literally did. Let me think like a man move. Let me, let me get, let me get something. Let me go. <laughs> Girl. She literally said, fuck you, girl. I, I mean, okay, okay, okay. Woo, God, I cannot believe I'm about to talk about this. Okay, the, here, here's my thing. And this is kind of really more into modernist dating. It, it's, it's really been more in the past and stuff, but it's still, you will see it in like TV shows, today's situation in dating, and even more beforehand, when I was a fucking kid, where... You know, um, you just want to know when I stand with someone. And I feel like at that moment, Edis, she wants to have a family with him. But as she said, they're, they're at two, they're not, their balance is off. And so she kind of like really fucked with his emotions right there and made him vulnerable in a way. It, it's like switch it if the roles were reversed, if it was. Rudy doing that to her. 
and making her vulnerable and stuff then of course yeah it would have been the roles would have definitely been reversed and it would have been it is crying over because you know us as females when we <laughs> when we do get taken advantage like that and we are like someone who when we whoever we're with we get like kind of attached a little quickly in a way um some of us i was like some not all of us some girls are different just the way that we think and possibly the way that we, we've been taught and such um we'll get attached to someone after <laughs> the deed of course and next thing you know you have a guy who one minute he he's the night of he's there with you and then the next day he's gone and you're waking up and then that's when you kind of question everything but then at the same time you're like some of your friends or whoever any any person you hang out with you with you is like but you know you're expected with that that's what it's supposed to be like and so in that moment yeah you feel bad for rudy but at the same time i'm like yeah go in it's like is this how you feel i get you you just want to hit it and you want to move on <laughs> you you probably do want to come back to him because there is a lot of like chemistry and sexual tension between these two ever since these two have like come together and it's it was a really long se episode series of will they won't they and then finally they did it and then she's like it's time for me to go <laughs> it is time for me to get the fuck up out of here like you know she she literally as and I, and it's so funny to say that she literally had sex like a man she literally was just like okay i'm doing this i'm hitting it and i'm getting the fuck out period point blank and it's sorry <laughs> And I hate to say that, but that is really, truly what it is. Um, and it, it, to me, now, it's, it, it's, it's going to kind of be weird the next time we see each other. Because the last time they saw each other is before they had sex. Or like, even after, before they probably went to sleep. And <laughs> Rudy on cloud nine saying, like, yes! <laughs> But at the same time, you feel bad for him. And then, yeah, once again, go back to my girl, Sylvie. I'm like, oh, my heart. And then, of course, him looking on the list about Roxy. And I'm like, oh, okay. Is it time? We're saving the last episode for their moment. And then I'm just kind of like, okay. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Which probably, oh, God. This, this got me. Like, seriously. Got the emotions in this episode. God dang. I was not expecting that. Like, Seeing these three separate and we're going from three to two, it, it, I don't know why, it kind of reminded me of, um, okay, <laughs> let's go old school on this. <laughs> you know how, um, when Pokemon, um, I think it's like, oh my god, um, okay, so... For, for the English version, it's Master Quest. And it's really just Jocho overall. When that ended, and when we officially had our little trio of Ash, Brock, and Misty officially, like, leave each other and such. And I'll never forget this because the day... <laughs> It's so funny to see the like to reminisce about this because it's been years since I've seen the last of the Jocho episode and stuff and then we're going into advance so when that episode aired I think I was in like I think I was in like still elementary school going into middle school um and the day it aired and it was the last freaking episode well it wasn't the last no it was it was it was because the next one was Jojo no the next one was advanced and that was when we were officially meeting May so at that time and when you had these three and you've had these three with you for like such we don't talk about Tracy though um when you've had those three traveling along together and you're seeing their friendship blossom even more and all these different Pokemons that they're seeing for like <laughs> so many freaking episodes plus the movies and everything and you've really connected with these three and to see these three you know officially separate and the fact that you know misty had to stay home because of her sisters and then you know the situation on brock's dad and da, 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 and the fact that you know ash is like oh shit we're not traveling together like yeah it got emotional and i you know everyone as a kid when we all watched that we all cried like freaking babies that literally this episode and seeing these three separate gave me very much feels to that where it's like damn like 
we may never see these three travel again together. The next, like, it makes me wonder, like, who Rudy is possibly going to travel with next. And the obvious point is Roxy, because it would make the most sense, even though, um, and I might end up doing this after I'm done watching both of this and the other thing that I gotta watch, uh, because <laughs> we're, we're talking about the season two trailer, because I remember Jack shit from the season two trailer. Um, he's either by himself or he's with someone else. I don't physically remember, but it would be interesting to see those two travel together because it, it's them. And Roxy and Rudy would just, it would work until somebody comes from his past. You know, that's all five points. <laughs> but go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for the final episode. Okay, final episode in three, two, one. Go. Oh, I didn't think we would see them in this already. Damn. She looks so pretty with her short hair. Aww. So, how was it? Hmm. I feel for him. I do. Really. No.
Come on, you gotta get up. Come on. Basically, yes. It's fucked up. Where else is he supposed to go? for the best. Yeah, but baby, you don't think you made that boy depressed after doing what you did. I mean, I understand, but like, oh. Oh, honey. Oh. But it happened. Like, whoop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm? No. Can we just talk about the fact that it looked like Reese's hands were trembling? Bruh. Oh. 
But then at the same time, it looked like her hands were trembling. And then we have my depressed baby. I mean, I'm glad we're seeing everybody <laughs> and what they've all been up to. Oh. I mean, it is water, but the. <laughs> but seriously. <laughs> like, <"Ugh." laughs> Her stomach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, Roxy. Uh-oh. Mm. Mm-hmm, she's right. <laughs> sure. <laughs>
Oh, come on. Hug. Something. I need this. There you go. No. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. She'll be fine. <laughs> okay, can we have our oh, oh, finally? That gives me nothing. That gives me nothing. They're being like Don Machi right now. Bro, where is she? Okay, that's hope. Here you go. Give me the hope. Yeah, that's what I think. Oh, excuse me. True. Nobody wants to end up like that. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, you rejected them. You shut yourself out. Yeah. That's not true. But they can. And you can. You've done it once.
She's not gonna die by the end of this, right? I don't like I don't like the way this is going. I don't like this. Oh god, okay. Take that first step, baby. It's scary. Here you go. All right, final thoughts on this show. This show was good. Th really good. I mean, damn. Like, this made me go through a lot. <laughs> and I mean, a lot, of, a lot of everything. Emotions, feelings, um, questioning a lot every single week. Even, like, there were times where I was at work and I would just think about this show for a couple of minutes when I had free time and just thinking about, okay, where is this going to go? And how is this going to end? Like, I wasn't thinking that this was going to end like that. I, I was expecting it to be Rudy and Edish traveling again. Not being separate. I don't like the fact that they're separate. But I get it. Ain't that the school that Rudy and Sylvie wanted to go to? Sylvie! <gasps> Do not play with my heart. Do not play with my heart. Do not play. You, bruh, 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 stop it. And you expect me to wait how long for season two? Hello. Y'all serious? Huh? Are you kidding me? Like. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 can't <laughs> you can't end this like that like come on now and be like yeah okay you gotta wait now you have to fucking wait but like what the fuck is wrong with you why you do that is so mean but oh that has to be silver that has to be like oh so she ain't dead <laughs> Oh my god, bruh, 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 stop it. But then, okay, no, no, here's my biggest thing. Okay, now his mom. We, we have the indication of where she is. We got the, like, confirmation that she, she's kind of okay, she is alive, but... Still, how, like, my thing is, because, of course, because, like, I, as much as I wanted, because something kind of told me, um, especially when he got, uh, What's-Her-Face and his sister, um, that we were not going to see him get his mom by the end of the season. So I was just like, okay, 
that's a little like fuck up to me because I was like damn like I really wanted to see him and his whole family to be reunited and then I didn't like the fact that we we went from back and forth like kind of really the like, majority of this episode was Rudy's POV do love the fact that we also got to see um his mom's POV and for like a moment like a little glimpse or something but at the same time like the water moment thing like that it's several moments like I'm thinking like okay are, are we killing her is that like the last little bits of her breath or is just it, it's symbolizing like his depression of him drowning and trying not to be engulfed by a uh, by it again and then realizing okay this is what I need to do. This is what I have to do. And such. And so now that he's alone again, it does hurt. Really, it truly does. But there is some, like, spark or glimmer of hope that, yes, he is going to see um, Edis again. <laughs> that our three amigos are going to meet again. And then, like, okay, yeah, like, bruh, okay. Can, can we also talk about the other elephant in the room? The fact is that I was like, oh my god, like let's go all the way back to the first couple of episodes of the season of this show. And I was like, okay, yeah, like, you know, Roxy has to leave and they're going to see each other again, right? And then every other freaking episode where we kept going back and forth into, between these two POVs of these two, like, you really fucked with me. I was ready, like, every single week I was ready to see these two finally get their reunion. And now that we are officially done with this and we still don't have a reunion with these two, it, it does suck, but I get it. I, I'm guessing it's just going to, it's going to be something that is going to happen in season two, of course. But damn, like, oh, like, <laughs> why? <laughs> but seriously, honestly, I, I'm expecting the, the OVA episode, especially with the OVA character who was in it, who, you know, simped over Ed is like, he's going to be the big, like, still somewhat of a big bad in season two when of course when he meets Rudy like oh they're gonna square up and such there's a lot of things that could possibly happen in season two um it makes me curious on to asking light novelists who have read this series and wanting to know like yeah what is going to happen but at the same time just like how I'm currently with Don Machi where I want to read and I'm like thinking do I have time to read <laughs> which I do and then sometimes I don't and I can balance it because your girl <laughs> and such it's just like oh god I just I don't want to know information and then having to keep quiet because I hate that about myself where I'm like it like especially when like what season four and five three four and five of my hero was airing and I had to keep quiet about so much shit it ugh, it was one of the worst things it, it, it is the it, sometimes like when you know certain things it is the best and worst thing at the same time because you're you're like oh I can't wait until people see this because of this but then at the same time you're like I can't wait for people to see this because of this and that's how I truly felt and that's why like you know probably because I think a lot of people were wondering like yeah do you even watch my hero this season <laughs> uh not only that I mean it was just like I, I kind of rather like just you know ish I mean yes I started that as reaction series and now I'm like ah, yeah but yeah I mean this was a very interesting series um <laughs> everything about it was good the good there was <laughs> it had everything that's all I had to say these characters I love them so much and I really honestly got attached to all three everyone very so freaking quickly and I hate the fact that we are officially done with this but at the same time it makes me very excited for season two whenever the fuck that is happening I'm guessing it is sometime next year but still you know me. I hate waiting for anything. I'm a little impatient girl so or woman and shit. And, you know, hey, I don't want to do that shit. So something tells me that, you know, I'm going to end up falling in love with another freaking TV series or anime series. And I'm like, yeah, we have to wait again. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entirety of season one of Jobless Reincarnation. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Uh, so subscribe to my channel and make videos every single night. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Wednesday and Monday for the start of my next two series. I will not tell. Okay, well, here's a little hint. 
for, you know, the non-people, not patrons who don't know what I'm reacting to next. Let's just say it is something from the last two seasons. So something from summer and something from spring, I believe. I I know like from one of them, one of them just, I think what one of them just ended, I believe, officially. And then the other show that ended around sometime after spring going into summer. Um, Another hint is one of these shows was something that I really, really wanted to watch. And due to the point of around springtime, I was super busy and I wanted to watch it so freaking bad. And I, I, I think around the time, I think it was like maybe two or three weeks in and I wanted to do a reaction series on it. But I was like, nah, eh. and I was going to watch it on my own. And it is on my watch list of shows that I wanted to watch on my own. And it was so funny because literally a, a couple of weeks ago, I was about to watch it. Um... I, I literally got the request of saying, hey, I want you to watch this. And I was just like, damn it. <laughs> so once again, my Patreons are always like one step ahead of me. Because if I announce something or because of um, the one of the Annie List things that I do and I update it. And I, I, <laughs> I think it was maybe like a week or two after we finished airing. I, I put it as like plan to watch. And then, boom, it just, like I said, a couple weeks ago. <laughs> and it was like, hey, yo, <laughs> watch this. <laughs> I was like, damn, I was like, this is on my watch list. Because I wanted to watch it on my own. I wanted to binge it. But I was like, okay, I'll do it. So I said yes. <laughs> but, um, and then the other show that was for summer, um, I know that that is a 24-episode series. Um, I like to call it the show that Disney Plus has the rights to. So if you don't know that little insider joke, then yeah, you probably don't know what it is. No, it's not Bleach. <laughs> but my Bleach reactions are coming. <laughs> BTW. Um, but no, it is not Bleach. So don't think it's that. Think of the other, other show that Disney Plus has the rights to. If you didn't know, you'll find out sometime next week. But like I said, until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.